Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans of General Hospital were shocked to hear that Kelly Monaco, who had been Sam McCall's character for the previous 21 years, had been let go from the program. Sam's demise appears to be predetermined by the plot. Speaking out on the subject is Steve Furton, who has played Sam's longtime interest for many years. What is his opinion regarding the departure of his long-term partner? This year has seen a lot of changes in both the behind-the-scenes and on-screen worlds. The show's head writers, Chris Van Etten and Dan O'Connor, were punished, which sparked a writer's strike. Patrick Mulcahy and Elizabeth Corte took their places. After writing soap operas for many years, Mulcahy was let go in a matter of months. Chris Van Etten was brought back on board in August, taking over as chief writer alongside Elizabeth Corse. Additionally, there have been numerous casting adjustments this year. After a three-year break, Steve Burton made a comeback. Fans, of course, recall Steve's firing for refusing to take the required COID shot after bosses denied his exemptions. Additionally, Jonathan Jackson has returned as Lucky Spencer. Fans are aware that Lucky has been the night owl who occasionally shows up for years. After Anthony Geary retired in 2015, Lucky was last seen. After locating Jake Spencer on Cassidyne Island, Lucky took him home. This was a segment of Luke's tale of salvation. Although the return of Jason and Lucky has delighted fans, Roger Howarth departed early this year due to the death of his character. When his character was sent to rehab after falling off the wagon following the death of his father, Michael Easton also left the role. The majority of the year has also seen Michael E. Knight's absence. Naturally, despite the rather dubious nature of their characters, some of these celebrities were well-liked by their admirers. That does not imply, though, that supporters do not miss them. Some fans have been hoping they might come back as characters from their time on General Hospital, or even from another program. Nicholas Chavez left for a role in a film as well. The departure of a 21-year veteran from the show came as a complete surprise to the fans, despite all the changes that have occurred this year. After she moved to Port Charles, Sam and Jason have been involved in each other's lives. The scene from their initial encounter at the PCPD all those years ago has played over and over. When ABC aired its primetime 60th anniversary special, Kelly assisted Laura Wright in announcing Steve's comeback to the program. Fans of Sam were ecstatic to learn that Sam and Jason would FINALI get back together. After all, the last time Steve came back, they had been duped. Now that Kelly has been dismissed, it appears that there may be little chance of a reunion of any form. Steve and Bradford Anderson took a week off from work to take their daily drama part, cast shortly after Kelly's termination was made public. Bradford responded to the plethora of queries that listeners had left on their podcast website. This includes letting fans know that they learned the same thing as the broader audience. Bradford also mentioned that they don't know anything about what transpired. I wish we had information to tell you, Steve said to the crowd. Steve did state that he anticipates additional information regarding the entire matter to be made public in the next several days. Steve provided this even though he was unable to verify how Sam was written off. Anything that occurs is bad. Will Steve talk about this topic further? Will Kelly be back on the podcast at any point? Kelly might even discuss Morris Bennard's mental state. In any event, viewers are coming together to try and keep Sam and Kelly on the program. First of all, will the efforts of the Lucky Spencer is back on the canvas, the small community will see him return in the fall. Watchers of Guillet should prepare themselves for some heartfelt and lovely get-togethers with loved ones. Nevertheless, what will be Aiden Spencer's reaction upon seeing his father after all these years, and will he feel any bitterness for his absence? Speaking of Spencers, it appears that when Lulu Spencer emerges from her coma, Laura Collins will have a full house. Since Emmy Rylan isn't coming back, speculation has been running wild over who will play the part. One thing is certain, though, 
there's a strong possibility that Lulu and Dante Falconeri may experience a romantic spark once she opens her eyes. Regretfully, Dante might turn into a wreck in the fall. He ate spoilers for the fall suggest that while his ex-wife will wake up, Sam McCall, his current girlfriend, will meet her end. Actress Kelly Monaco's departure from the serial opera and the cancellation of her role were announced this week. How torn will Dante feel when one love dies and another comes to life? It appears that romance between Carly Spencer and Jack Brennan will be in the air throughout town. Having said that, will Jack's strong desire to collaborate with Jason Morgan, whom Carly holds in the highest regard, interfere with their potential romantic relationship? Hashtag Julie 2.0 Fans of General Hospital should tune in to the ABC soap opera to ensure they don't miss a second of the excitement, as spoilers suggest that although the weather normally cools down when fall arrives, the drama in Port Charles will intensify. Fans will now have to wait until Tuesday, September 3 to witness the consequences and find out if Sonny has prepared for any potential backlash. Even so, fans of Guy couldn't resist speculating about the plot over the weekend. They offer theories such as that Joe wasn't dead, that it was all a dream, that it was a frame job, and much more. On Friday following the program, Harrington took to X and tweeted a picture of a sunset along with the words, Good night, everyone. The actor's cryptic post sent fans into a frenzy as they speculated over whether or not Friday had indeed been his final GH appearance. Then on Sunday night, fellow Jir Jack Brennan, who is also Charles Michaud, tweeted something intriguing on X that read, At the risk of stating the obvious, Adabant Harrington did an absolutely incredible job on Guillet. This further developed the storyline. Excellent actor, amazing presence on set, and an amazing guy to be around. It was such a blessing to have him. Salutations, Adam. Michaud's post seemed quite tight, as it mentioned that Adam's last episode aired on Friday, August 30, the same week that Harrington left and Jagger was shot. After the last nail was driven in the off-screen drama about whether or not Harrington was leaving Guy, fans of the show started talking about it on social media once more. Late on Sunday, September 1, Adam officially announced his departure via Twitter with the following message. Well, at General Hospital, it was a blast, literally. To authors, producers, and at Valentina Frank, I appreciate the opportunity to join your world. I adored it. To the amazing crew and cast, seeing the C-L-I-B-E-R of your labor was an honor. I really shall miss all of you now. To the viewers and fans of At General Hospital, the tweet reads in another instance, bright and early on Monday, September 2. Being in your environment and experiencing your enthusiasm has been an honor. I read every farewell message that people wrote, and it makes me feel incredibly humbled. My sincerest gratitude to you for everything. Until our next meeting. Adam. It appears that John was really shot to death, and fans will see Jagger or Harrington for the last time on Friday night. Although there's always a slim chance a character can rise from the grave, Adam Harrington and John Jagger Cates have officially left Port Charles for good. Fans won't want to miss General Hospital on Tuesday, September 3, as spoilers suggest that the episode should provide more details regarding this shooting plot. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.